Gemini and welcome back to my channel and this is your September reading from Anything Spiritual. Firstly I'd like to say a big thank you to all the likes and subscribes and the comments and the support that my channel received last month. I'm always very grateful. In the description below I'll put a link to my sister's channel Mind Line Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. Now Gemini is asking what the month ahead holds for you and you had two cards fall out. You had the Six of Pentacles and you had the Moon card. Now the Six of Pentacles shows um, a couple of people there with a handout and somebody placing money in them. So I felt, is there some sort of payout for you this month? But the Moon card, now we know what that can be about. That can be about, you know, hidden truths, not seeing all of it. Um, guided by your intuition so are you worrying is there some sort of payout that you're worrying about that um, you think it's not as it's meant to be something not right um, keeping you awake at night perhaps worrying about this so let's see what the cards have to say to you you know will you get this payout will you get this money with no problems or is there some sort of hidden thing that you should be worried about? Or is that moon card there just showing that you have these fears, you have these worries, but you know, perhaps it will all be okay. So let's shuffle the cards. So your message for the month of September, Gemini, is uh, a possible payout and may not be as it appears. coming out today Gemini so far you've got the four of swords the three of pentacles the ten of cups and the page of cups so let's have a look and uh, I'll continue shuffling and seeing what cards come out for you with the four of swords there you've possibly had some sort of illness a resting period have you been out of work are you waiting for a redundancy payoff um, have you been out of work and you're waiting for some government grant? Who knows? But there seems to be some sort of money that you're waiting for. There's been a resting period, a possible illness. We've got the three of pentacles here. So you have been making plans, you have got ideas, you know where you're going in the future and you are starting to take the next steps towards them. Oh, you've got some good cards here, Gemini. You've got that Ten of Cups coming out next. And you've got the Sun card there. So the Ten of Cups is telling you, you know, it, it's like abundance is coming. Tens are completion. So you are definitely completing something this month, some sort of cycle. And it kind of takes you into a new start. You'll, you'll get that that happy sort of abundance that you want something is coming so hopefully that is this payout because you've got the ten of cups there you're going to be happy you know it's it's emotional but also it's family you know and, and you can see yourself surrounded by the things that you want so it's like the things that you want Gemini are coming to you this month okay we've got the page of cups there when the pages come in um, it can be to do with um, children it can be to do with service they're normally good news so it's good news again if this is a payoff to do with work good news for the service that you've done you know it's good news something is coming for you some sort of good news which is going to make you happy we've got um you know the, the ten of cups there showing you being happy and again we've got the ten of wands another completion card Ones can be work, they can be creativity. This card can also tell you not to carry somebody else's burden. So we said that you've possibly got a completion here. So does that mean you are dropping any burdens that you've got? You are walking away and you are going to put yourself first, Gemini. We've got the King of Pentacles here. He's an earth sign, he's grounded. He's really good with finances. So there's good communication with finances. There's good... Um, 
information. There's good stability there. So there's good grounding going on here. And we've got the Sun card. That's telling you, go out, enjoy yourself. And the Two of Pentacles on the end there, a possible decision regarding money. So it's like there's money coming to you. You've got some sort of plans of what you're doing with it. You've got abundance. You've got that happiness. Um, you've got good news coming. You're dropping any burdens and you're going on. You've got the Sun card. Go out there, enjoy yourself, have fun. And you, that Two of Pentacles in the end there, telling you um, a possible decision and it's to do with your future it's to do with things ahead so possibly um you know is it a work situation something that you're going to and here we go there the ten of wands again that ten of wands just keeps coming out the fact that you've got the tens there there's definitely some sort of completion and um it could be a burden that's been on your shoulder that you've needed to get rid of. You know, it, I don't feel that you're going to continue carrying this burden because we've got these good cards there. You're perhaps worrying about it because we had those messages in the beginning. A possible parent may not be as it appears. You've been worrying. You've been worrying. Have you worried that you, um, you're you going to have to pay off more or you're not going to get so much? But this burden, this worry... You're dropping it. It's going because we're moving on to the sun card there. Let's have a look at your guardian angel cards, Gemini. So this is a possible uh, good reading. You just need to let that worry go. Wow. And look at this card that's come out of you. Your guardian angel. A win-win solution. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. So it looks like you will get there. You need to work with other people. You need to sort out a moderate approach. Don't forget we've got this King of Pentacles in there, this ground and this earth sign. Um, they're really good at getting organised, so that's going to be you, that's going to be you organising this situation, winning these other people around, working out a compromise so that we get this sun card here, we get this happy ever after, and you end up being able to make decisions of your own choice. Okay, let's have a look at these saints and angel cards for you, Gemini. So you've got some compromising to do this month. Um, you need to sit down and, you know, rather than worry, we know that you're worrying. We know that with this moon card in the beginning, you're probably laying awake at night, worrying about things, going over it in your head. But you need to be taking action. You need to be talking to people. You need to be sorting out solutions. You need to be reaching a compromise. And look what's come out, Gemini. Wise decision. Okay. So we've already got your guardian angels telling you that you need to compromise and work with people. And we've got wise decision from saints and angels. So it looks like you can reach a wise decision, okay? You can get rid of that moon card. You can get rid of that worry. You know, you can use your intuition because don't forget the moon is also about intuition. So instead of worrying what's hidden from you and what you're not seeing, get in there compromise get a solution sorted you will make a wise decision gemini okay so for some of you this may resonate in the area of your loving relationships for other people it won't i hope this reading's resonated with you remember they are general readings don't forget to comment below this all makes sense to you so let's have a look at your love and relationships we'll pull a couple of love and relationship cards and see what um, September has in store regarding your relationship area. And we've got two cards out here. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek, and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. 
So for those of you who are single, you possibly have met that person, they're quite possibly in your life. For those of you in a relationship, it's time to have a bit of time for you and yourself, for you and your partner. It's time to retreat. We said here that there was a resting period. We said about going out and enjoying yourself. So perhaps you and your partner need a little bit of time, even if it's a couple of days away together, a bit of retreat, a bit of time to yourselves. Um, just a bit of you time, okay? Because with all of this going on, um, it's easy to, uh, you know, sort of neglect relationships and not see what's going on. So for those of you who are single, you have quite possibly met the one, they're quite possibly already around you. And for those of you in a relationship, it's time to have a little bit of time together. Well, Gemini, I hope you have a good month. It looks like you've got a lot of sorting out to do. But remember, you've got those good cards there. You will make a wise decision. You will get there. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.